Okay, so we're gonna hop right into the video. I already parted out the hair. There are five sections, and I make my parts big enough because the locks are thick and they end up, you know, creating a lot of volume if there's too much. So here I am, I've already done a couple of them. Here, are, I've twisted it out. I braid the beginning and I twist it out towards the end so it makes it easier for my client to take it out. So I'm using both Marley hair and Water Wave hair, and you'll see the purpose for this later. Um, it basically makes the, the lock look a lot more natural and less of that glossy, shiny finish that you get from just using Water Wave hair. So I pull the crochet needle through the base of the braid and I usually do it towards the bottom. And at first I didn't think this mattered, but if you do it more towards the top of the braid or more towards the top of the section, it makes it a lot more, um, it doesn't lay as flat as it should. So make sure when you crochet it in, you crochet it towards the bottom of the braid, you know, towards the bottom of the base of the square. I'm, I'm hoping that makes sense. I will zoom in and like point towards it and, you know, try to make sure that y'all know towards the bottom. Um, so basically I pull both of those through and then I take out a piece of Marley hair and then I use that piece to just wrap it around the base of the hair and make sure I get that part secured and that part tight because water wave hair does slip. So we use the rougher texture hair, the Marley hair, to make sure that the root is um, very firm and very in place so it doesn't slip or move around while, you know, in the duration of the hairstyle. So I've just wrapped it around a couple times just to make sure it's secure. You'll see it will feel secure like as you're doing it, um, the base will get a lot tighter and less mobile. And then after that, I take one strand, you know, including both the Marley hair and the water wave hair, and I just start to wrap. And as I wrap down, you know, the butterfly method, um, I use my thumb, put it in between the hair, not all of it, but just um, a small section towards the bottom of the hair, just to make little, not little, small loops within the um, each of the locks to just give it that butterfly effect. I did not end up recording um, me sealing off the end of this faux lock but i do do this process all over again and the next time i do record um me just making sure i finish off the lock and seal off, sealing off the end of the lock so i did show you guys that in this video just stay tuned i will be doing all the processes over again just to make sure y'all y'all you guys have it down and i will show you how to seal it off so here i am doing all the steps again um using the crochet needle to insert both both the marley hair and the water wave hair into the twist slash braid, um, pulling it through, securing the base with the Marley hair, and then wrapping it down using the butterfly method. Like I said before, there's no right or wrong amount of times to wrap it around. Once you feel like you've got the base secure, you can just continue wrapping after that. I think in this time, I wrap it um, more than I wrap the others. Um, I think you'll see that I go a little bit further down and I just felt like um, that's what I needed to do at the time and then after that I continue wrapping. And this hair does tend to get tangled as you can see right now but just take your time run your fingers through it and um, just don't be too rough on your client.
okay we've come to the bottom of the butterfly lock um what i like to do is make sure that the length of the lock is the same as the others that's the first thing you need to do and then after that um i wrap either i unravel because it's too long or i wrap more because it's too short and um then i start wrapping the hair back up um i use the pieces that are left over at the bottom of the lock as you'll see really soon um and i just use that those pieces of hair and i just wrap them right back up along the lock i don't like to use glue or um i really don't like to use fire or a lighter to um finish off the ends because it doesn't it makes it more stiff um catches onto things more so i just if you tangle it enough because the marley hair is included it will stay in place so basically all i do is i take the ends and i just wrap it back up and sometimes when i notice that the end is too long it's literally unnecessary and i don't need enough hair later on when you get towards the top um you won't do as much cutting as i as i just did all the hair will be used to wrap it back up and just tangle it within the lock so you just take pieces wrap it up wrap it down and make sure you wrap it between the little butterfly loops that you made you don't want to get rid of any of those because the loops do make the lock And that is all for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Um, please stay tuned for more videos. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you in my next video.